Hi everybody, Jacob Breed here from ReviewEcon.com. Today we're talking about the 2024 microeconomics exam. This is question number three from set one. If after watching this video, you still need a little more help, head over to ReviewEcon.com and pick up the total review booklet. It has everything you need to know to ace your microeconomics or macroeconomics exam. Let's get into it. Now today we've got a game theory question. We have two entities, those are Field Cruiser and Nice Ride. Field Cruiser has two strategies of focusing on reliability or power. Nice Ride on the other hand has the two strategies of focusing on either safety or comfort. And we have their potential profit in the matrix there. The first numbers belong to Nice Ride and the second numbers in the quadrants belong to Field Cruiser. For part A, we are asked what Field Cruiser's most profitable strategy will be if Nice Ride chooses to improve safety. In order to answer the question, we need to first focus on the quadrants where Nice Ride improves safety. That is the top row right there. And now we have to determine which choice within those quadrants is most profitable to Field Cruiser. If Nice Ride focuses on safety, Field Cruiser can have $28 million if they focus on reliability, or they can have $35 million if they focus on power. Since rational firms focus on maximizing profit and $35 million is greater than $28 million, focusing on power is what Field Cruiser will do. Simply identify that, improve power, and you get your first point. For part B, we are asked if Nice Ride has a dominant strategy, and we have to explain using numbers from the matrix. In order to answer that question, we have to find Nice Ride's best strategy for each of Field Cruiser's strategies. First, let's focus on those two numbers there. Those are the possible profits for Nice Ride if Field Cruiser focuses on reliability. Since 30 million is greater than 10 million, Nice Ride in this case will focus on comfort. If Field Cruiser focuses on improving power, on the other hand, then Nice Ride is choosing between 32 million and 25 million. Since 32 million is greater than 25 million, in this case, they will focus on safety. Now, if Nice Ride had the same strategy regardless of Field Cruiser's choice, then that strategy would be dominant. But in this case, Nice Ride is choosing comfort on one hand and safety on the other hand. That leads us to our answer here no, because when Field Cruiser chooses reliability, 30 million is greater than 10 million, so Nice Ride chooses comfort. And when Field Cruiser chooses power, 32 million is greater than 25 million, so Nice Ride chooses safety. And if you haven't answered something like that, using the numbers with inequalities, you get your next point. For part C, we are asked if Nice Ride choosing to improve safety and Field Cruiser choosing to improve power is a Nash equilibrium. And we have to explain using numbers from the matrix. The definition of a Nash equilibrium is an outcome where any business switching strategies will be worse off. So there in that green rectangle is the quadrant where Field Cruiser has power and Nice Ride has safety. If Field Cruiser changes from power to reliability, their profit will change from 35 million to 28 million. So they would be worse off. If on the other hand, Nice Ride changes from safety to comfort, their profit moves from 32 million down to 25 million. So if either business changes strategies, that business will be worse off. That leads us to our answer here. Yes, because if either firm changes strategies from that outcome, they will earn less profit. Nice Ride will earn 25 million instead of 32 million. Field Cruiser will earn 28 million instead of 35 million. And if you haven't answered something like that, you get your next point. For part D, we are told that Field Cruiser and Nice Ride merge, and we are asked what the new profit of the combined firm will be. This question is essentially asking us about the collusion or monopoly outcome. That's where two businesses function together as one. And the outcome we expect is the highest combined profit in the matrix. In the top left quadrant, we have $38 million worth of profit combined. In the top right quadrant, we have 67 million. In the bottom right quadrant, we have 45 million. And the bottom left quadrant, we have 70 million. The highest combined profit we have is that lower left quadrant. Simply identify the profit, $70 million. And you got your point. For part E, we are told that changes in fuel prices reduce the profitability of choosing to improve power by $10 million for Field Cruiser. Based on that change, we have to identify each firm's profit in the new Nash equilibrium. The first thing we're going to do is change that payoff matrix to adjust for the change. We are going to subtract $10 million from Field Cruiser's profits in the power column because it's only reducing the profitability when Field Cruiser improves power. So that $35 million changes to $25 million and the 20 million changes to 10 million. Now we're going to find the new Nash. First, let's go ahead and put ourselves in the mind of Nice Ride. Nice Ride is going to have to decide what they will do if Field Cruiser focuses on reliability. In that case, Nice Ride is choosing between 10 million and 30 million, and clearly 30 million is best. So I'm gonna add a little star there. But if Field Cruiser chooses to focus on power instead, 
Then Nice Ride is choosing between 32 million and 25 million. Here, 32 million is best, so we're going to add a little star there. Now let's switch over to thinking about what field cruiser might choose, and if they think Nice Ride is going to focus on safety, then they're choosing between 28 million and 25 million. In this case, 28 million is best, so let's add a star there. If on the other hand, they think that Nice Ride will focus on comfort, then they're choosing between 40 million and 10 million. 40 million is best, so let's put another star there. Now we have one quadrant with two stars. That is the Nash Equilibrium. If either firm chooses to deviate from that outcome, they will be worse off. So in order to get the last point, we're going to identify the profit for each firm. Nice Ride, 30 million, and Field Cruiser, 40 million. And if you have that, you get your last point. And there you have it. Those are the answers to the 2024 microeconomics exam. Question number three, set one. If you still need more help, head over to ReviewEcon.com and pick up that total review booklet. That's it for now. I'll see you all next time.